I'm going to look at some of the formulas that are in the global warming section of the uh, data packet. The first one is albedo, and basically albedo is how reflective something is. So if you look at this, these surfaces here, right, ice is very reflective, right? It means it reflects 90% of the power that hits it. So that's kind of a crazy thing, right? Ice is hard to melt because the, even if you've got direct sunlight on it, it's reflecting that sunlight. We all know this because we wear uh, sunglasses when we go skiing or climb mountains, right? Fresh snow is, is, is also highly reflective. Notice that oceans are not reflective. They only reflect 10% of the energy that hits them, and they absorb 90%, right? And so, of course, this is you know one of the crazy uh, positive feedback loops that goes on with global warming is that if you start melting the ice and you don't have ocean ice, right, uh, then the ocean, you have more ocean surface to absorb water, so then the oceans get warmer, so the ice melts, and so you have more ocean, right, and it's sort of a runaway thing, right? Um, and then, okay, so scatter, scattered power, basically scattered power divided by incident power. So if you have a, if you have a 100 watts incident, right, watts per square meter maybe, right, and you've got 60 watts per square meter, watts per square meter reflected, then your albedo is uh, 0.6. And I don't know, do you say albedo or albedo? I never remember. I'm going to say albedo because it's more fun than albedo. Okay. Um, let's look at this thing here, right? We've got uh, 235. That's our area, right? That's how many watts per square meter of fresh snow and sunlight of intensity, whatever is incident at an angle of 65 degrees. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go, um, albedo is how much is reflected, right? So the power absorbed, absorbed, right, okay, is going to be, what is it going to be? It's going to be, um, well, certainly we've got the intensity on there, right? We've got the area. Uh, we're going to do cosine of the angle because they're giving us that angle again, right? Okay, so it's a lot like the solar thing. But I think we've got to do something with the albedo here. I think we want to do the absorbed thing. And I think what's absorbed is the albedo minus 1, right? Or 1 minus the albedo, right? 1 minus the albedo, right? That's what's absorbed. That works, right? So for ice, 1 minus 0.9, only 0.1 is absorbed, right? For water, 1 minus 0.1 is 0.9 absorbed, right? Okay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay. And this is going to be, this. yeah, okay, we're, we're all set. Okay, so let's go 1,030 watts per square meter, right? The area is 235 uh, meters squared, right? Square meters. Uh, we're going to go coast to the right angle, but what angle is it? Let's draw a picture of this. Got to make sure we got the right angle. Okay. Uh, 65 degrees with the surface. There we go. So that is 65 degrees. So that means the angle we want to use is this angle right there. Is that going to be uh, 25? Indeed it is, right? So cos 25 degrees. Because you always use the angle that is uh, between uh, this, if you're using cos, right? The angle between this and the vertical. Okay. And then I'm going to go, let's see, what is it? It is fresh snow. Hey, well, I've got exactly the right thing to use for fresh snow. It's, it's 85, right? So I'm going to use 1 minus 0.85. And the reason it's 1 minus that is that I'm saying that 85% is reflected, is scattered. That's what scattered means, right? It is reflected. So therefore, 15% is absorbed. Okay? So let's just see what it does here. 1,030 times 235 uh, times cosine of 25 times parentheses 1 minus 0.85. I'm way too sophisticated to just type 0.15 in there. Right? And I'm getting... Um, Three two nine zero five watts is absorbed, right? Because watts per square meter times square meters is watts, uh, and I guess that's about thirty-three kilowatts. We put the decimal point there. Yeah, 